Okay. Item 8, public hearings. Notices have been published, posted, and mailed. A, hold public hearing, waive first reading, and introduce an ordinance amending Chapter 12.2220, Wireless Telecommunications Facility to Title 12, Land Use of the San Bruno Municipal Code. City Attorney. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, usually the staff brings um, ordinances to the City Council for a pre-review, and we didn't do that in this case. Uh, for the reason that the ordinance before you this evening, which is amending an existing ordinance, is merely a response to requirements, thank you, of state law, um, and bringing our existing ordinance into compliance with new, regu uh, with new state regulations. So there's not a lot of uh, discretionary aspects to the amendments that are, bringing, that are brought forward this evening. Uh, San Bruno's regulations, as you indicated, located in Chapter 12220 relating to cell towers or wireless telecommunication facilities, uh, was adopted several years ago by the City Council. And it's a very strong ordinance in that it requires an assessment of various factors before a telecommunication facility is permitted in San Bruno. In fact, there has to be a cumulative impact analysis that is done uh, that includes information about site planning, design plan, stealth design requirements, and evidence of compliance with federal uh, standards, RF emission standards and safety stand standards. More importantly for your purposes this evening, the ordinance expresses a or articulates a very strong interest in facilities being co-located, that is sort of bunched together in order to minimize the impacts to the environment and to our community aesthetically and otherwise. Now, the state law that came into effect some time ago uh, is, is, is essentially consistent with the city's requirements of co-location. In fact, it requires that cities administratively approve facilities that are to be co-located with another facility, provided certain requirements are met, such as the existing facility must have been built with a permit, the new facility must uh, be consistent, must uh, be consistent with the requirements that have been imposed on the existing facility. Um, the existing facility had to be subject to a use permit process and review and CEQA or environmental review. And there has to be a hearing, there has to have been a hearing on the original permit. So the amendments that are before you this evening make those adjustments that are required by state law as I've just outlined. The Planning Commission as required by law did review this these proposed amendments and recommended them to the City Council along with uh, a requirement that staff also incorporate some amendments that would make the definitions in the existing ordinance and in state law more similar in order to provide a greater uh, consistency and understanding between the state regulations and the city regulations. In addition to that, there are a few other uh, minor wording adjustments that I'd like to make, um, which would include in section 040D3, just clarifying that the applicant has to agree in writing that the way that the facility will be operated will be consistent with existing requirements. And make a few other minor changes, um, if you'll allow me to make those, that uh, will create um, a greater clarity in the ordinance and assist in effectuating the purposes of this uh, regulatory scheme that the city has previously adopted. At this time, are there any questions from the city council? Questions from council? Okay. This is a public hearing. Any member of the public wanting to address the council on this issue? John Barrelier, North San Anselmo, San Bruno. A few meetings ago, uh, I asked John, for excuse me, yes. I just asked you to put, there you go. Okay. Perfect. A few meetings ago, I asked for uh, those city employees making more than 20% of their salaries in overtime. And uh, you gave me the reasons for the overtime and went home and pondered it. J and John, John, I just have to stop you. This, we're on a public hearing. This isn't public comment. This okay. is specifically oh. having to do with the wireless telecommunication oh, okay. changes. So okay. I'll call you back up when, you. when it's time. Thank you. Anyone else wishing to address the council on this issue? Okay. This is a public hearing. If we close the public hearing, be precluded from speaking. Seeing no one, is there a motion to close the public hearing? So moved. Second. Motion to second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Uh, on the ordinance, uh, any discussion or action from council? Is it your motion to waive the first reading? Second. Motion to second. 
Discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Mr. Chair, I'd like to introduce the ordinance for adoption. Roll call, please. Vice Mayor Ruane. Aye. Council Member Medina. Aye. Council Member O'Connell. Aye. Mayor Franzella. Aye. 